Hi everyone and welcome to the Shotokan Chronicles. In today's video we're going to go back to Nakayama's legacy, this time watching the video for the Shotokan Kata Jion. But first, take a few seconds and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you click on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. Also take a second or two and visit the Great North Apparel. Go to thegreatnorth.net at checkout, use the coupon code SHOTOKAN to receive 30% off of your order. Also, in the description below, you'll find a link to our shop where you can find Shotokan Chronicles t-shirts, hats, hoodies, etc. So, Jion is a very important kata. It's associated with um, Heian Shodan. Uh, it is a kata of power. So, it's one of the ones that, if you're a bigger person, or a stronger person, you're going to want to be performing Jion before you would pick Empi. Um, I like to perform Jion. There's a few things in it that definitely show my strength. And there's a few parts of Jion that I also struggle with. Um, this is a kata that is in the eliminations of traditional Japanese tournaments. So it's in usually the second round of eliminations for black belts with um, the first round being some of the Heian Katas and Teki, Shodan, and the second round of eliminations being Basadai, Kankudai, Empi, and Jion. The performer in this video is Master Tanaka, who is one of my favorite Japanese masters. Unfortunately, I never had the opportunity to train with him. However, in a future video, we will review a dojo training um, sparring video that Master Tanaka is sparring with my instructor and I believe at the time he was a third degree black belt. Third degree black belt, my instructor and he was um, Master Tanaka was visiting our region for a grading. This was before I had returned to training and I wish when I found out that uh, this had happened. I wish that I was I never stopped training because I would have loved to have had the opportunity to train with Master Tanaka. Now this video isn't quite as long as the previous few black belt katas. Uh, this video is about 17 minutes long, and um, I, as always, I will give you some of my pointers as we go through the video. So without any further ado, jump. So there's some things Master Tanaka will do in this video that I'm going to point out some alterations for this that we have been incorporating within our organization. And it's just um, a little bit more tightening up on some of the techniques. Not saying that anything that Master Tanaka is doing is incorrect, it's just we have found some little tweaks that are mentioned in the Best Karate series that could help with containing the techniques a little bit tighter. Now a lot of people will say that these stylized sections where they're performing kata in outdoor settings or in traditional Japanese settings is not correct. Uh, that is not applicable, they're, they're wrong. Kata is a self-defense scenario being played out in a ritualistic manner. If you cannot perform kata outside on uneven ground, then you're not really doing kata correctly. Kata should be able to be performed anywhere.
Moving textbook series number 10, Jion. Demonstrator is Masahiko Tanaka, instructor of the Japan Karate Association, Rokudan. The consecutive winner of individual kumite at the first and second IAKF World Karate Do Championship Tournament, in addition to several honors. In cooperation with members of the Japan Karate Association headquarters. One of the best. The kata starts similar to Heian Sundan with the cross block. Um, one of the things that have been uh, mentioned a lot, especially in my dojo, Jion starts with the fist here, is Jin, and Jin and Jite all start the same way. I know some people would do Jin with the opposite hand. So the difference between Jion and Jin's beginning, Jion crosses out here in front, the right hand will be in a fist up. Jin, the right hand comes in and goes down. Right hand down. So, Jion is right up, Jin is right down. And also, when you finish Jion, you bring your right leg in, your right hand's up, your right leg will come in. In Jin, your right hand goes down, your left hand comes up, it's your left leg that you move in at the end of the kata. The kata, or the style Jion, has perfect harmony like that of the Buddhas, and in its calm movements implies a strong spirit. It is appropriate for mastering rotational movements and shifting directions. There are no particularly difficult movements, but important thing is to correctly use various stances and techniques found in Heian and Tekki. It is most valuable for mastering fast and slow tempos and the basics of simultaneous arm and leg movements. So, the three punches, you do your block, double hand block, kick, punch, then punch, punch. Here, move to the rotation of hips, slightly turn palm heel while swinging from side to block. And it's different than in jite, jite is a palm heel strike straight. Jion comes around with your hip. Here is this kata's decisive point. It's necessary to use Gedan, Chudan, and Jodan properly. Some people do that section with your hands out, that they just come right from the position with their hands out to the sides and others bring their hands into their hips before they come out. I the opponent come strike hips. towards the face, strike down the fist widely from above head to block. One of the things... Finally, when attack from the side, grasp the opponent's wrist, pressure in reverse direction, draw near and counter attack to opponent's side. One of the things there when you're doing these movements, a lot of people bring the opposite hand to the hip and then do this. Instead, put your hand out and come down so you're using both hands. Always exchanging. And at the very end, you're going to do your punch. This is here at the end, not back here, not here, not at down the hip. It's right here. So in line with your shoulder, you're just changing. Okay? And when you're moving across, keep this hand here. You're just turning your body and bringing the hand up the block and then just driving out straight.
another key point um, when you're doing this motion it's not a block and a punch here you want it your your setup you want to come over and then drive in so your hands are moving to set up and drive it's not just you're using both hands like that when you're performing the techniques in the horse stance or keep dash try to turn on your heels as you are turning to move to each different step if you rotate heel ball of the foot or ball of the foot you're going to move yourself probably about this much f further away from your mark if not more so each time your foot turns on the ball you're actually moving your foot over by about four to six inches When you do those techniques, your underarm block, make sure you're landing in a good front stance or else you're not going to be able to get your hips to work. Remember that your hips need to be back or half facing when you're blocking, straight facing when you're punching. The structure of kata consists of actual fighting experience. Understand the meaning of each technique. And when you do understand the meaning of, it, of each technique, kata actually means something more than a ritualistic dance. Just because the bunkai is not something that you see as being practical, doesn't mean it won't work. Some things have been changed in some of the JKA Bunkai from the original, but we don't know what the original was anymore. any kind of blocks don't come out like this these blocks should finish in line with your shoulders just enough to get that attack past your body you don't need to come out like this now your block is weak as you see there master Tanaka takes a big sweeping motion which is still very effective. In our organization, after we block, we reach, come down, and then reach, and come down. We do that so we're using both hands. It helps to make that technique strong. You're not coming way down to your, your belt line. It's like you're sitting in an armchair. So, my chair. You're just coming to about here, and it's a half rotation as you come down. This is one of the fundamental black belt katas that you need to know. Jion is so intertwined with Heian Shoren. 
Hyun Nidan, Hyun Sundan, and Techies. Techniques are similar, like that section, the rising blocks. If you perform the rising blocks in Hyun Shodan and add a reverse punch after every block, you're almost doing the same thing as that section here. That's how I usually teach my brown belts and new black belts that part of the kata. I get them to do the rising block section from Hyun Shodan and just add a reverse punch. And then you can move it into the more progressive um, techniques that are used in Jiyeon. Drawing near from Gedan Jujiuke sufficiently expressed the difference in the ways of using Chudan Kakiwakeuke and Jodan Jujiuke. When attacked from side, grasp opponent's wrist, pressure in reverse direction, and draw near. It's more effective to counter attack. If you find yourself not getting back to your spot, you can make your block, kick, punch, punch combination a little bit deeper on the angles. You can also gain more ground by shooting yourself forward a little bit further when you do your juju uki. There's the feeling that the movement of this demonstration is a little too fast. Also, the up and down motion of the hips can be seen. Pay careful attention to this movement. It's necessary to express a little more of the rhythm. So her card of the rhythm wasn't quite correct is what they're saying. So the first movement in that section, there's a little bit of hip rotation. The second movement in that section, hip rotation. The last one, no hip rotation, you're driving forward. As you see there, for Jujuki, they bring their hands from out to in and then forward. Some people just go from here out and don't bring it in. Uh, I've always been taught bringing it in to help develop power. The reason why some people don't is sparring direct from where you are. Um, Master Okazaki would teach bring the hands in. Master Yaguchi would teach go right from your position where you are when you're spreading your hands out. Demonstrators, Masashi Sakata, instructor of the Japan Karate Association, Yodan. Masao Kagawa, instructor, Sandan. Yasunori Ogura, instructor, Sandan. Nee, 
That is the correct rhythm of this kata, the count that Master Nakayama, Master Nakayama just performed. Once again, another true gem of Shotokan kata videos. Um, this demonstration of Jion, this presentation of Jion for, um, they call it the moving textbook, I believe was what the video series is is um, called. This video, like all the other ones, are spectacular if you're trying to learn these. They're the correct form and technique from, you gotta remember, from the 70s, 70s and 80s. This is when this was coming out in, in this time frame, 60s, 70s and 80s, when it was going around the world. Things have changed scientifically to make it a little bit stronger here and there. And I hope some of the things that I've pointed out might help you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to help the best that I can. Now remember, just because I say this is the way that we're doing it, it doesn't mean it's the way you're going to be doing it in your dojo or in your organization. Kata is altered for a reason. Some masters feel that it should be performed a different way. Some instructors feel it should be performed a different way. Maybe they might tweak one or two things here or there. But to try to keep it as close to what was taught by the masters of yesteryear is what we try to do. Whether it's looking at best karate or other books and trying to find the most correct way to uh, view these kata. Now I've mentioned before, if you're looking at Best Karate, at the bottom of each page there's um, little drawings of the feet to show you how your feet are supposed to be and how you're supposed to be turning. Also, if you look at the books Best Karate, in the first few pages you'll find a page with a bunch of dashes and little curves and um, uh, dotted lines, etc. And they'll have a kata name associated with it. And these symbols are going between numbers. And if you look at the legend below that, the little key, it's basically telling you the rhythm of the kata. So it's another little tidbit that a lot of people may have missed when they're looking at their best karate kata books. So if you have a copy of one of those books, go grab it, take a look. You might find some things you didn't even realize were there. I hope Reviewing this video with you will help you with your Gion. Thanks for watching. See you next time right here on the Shotokan Chronicles.